Good morning. Good morning to you. You know who I am. I'm the voice of your remembering. I am you. Beyond the physical costuming, beyond the walls of forgetting, beyond the illusion of darkness. I take no other form. I claim no other identity. I use my name because names are essential in your world. There's nothing I know that you do not. My task is not to give you information that is new and different. My task is to help you remember what you have forgotten. And why do I exist? I like the why. I exist by the very miracle of love. We are. There is no other why. That's Emmanuel. There is no other love, no other silence. Have you noticed that love is silence? Krishnamurti said it may be while holding the hand of another or looking lovingly at a child or taking in the beauty of an evening, of a sunset. Love has no past or future, and so it is with the extraordinary state of silence. There's no past or future here. No fear here. In every seeming moment, that's the choice you get to make. Fear or love, and fear will feel closer. It will feel like the obvious choice. It will be the easiest choice. But we're here to do the hard thing. We're here to open our hearts even when they feel heavy, even when we feel defeated, even when you feel tired, and it feels like doors are closing. Close that body's eyes. In actuality, entire rooms are being built just for you. At source messages, entire mansions have been prepared. You just have to stop running from what you prayed for. Every time you take a thought of when, of how, that's running. Come back to the only place where prayers are answered. To the only place that you are truly called. Don't strain. The silence is the call. It is the message. It is the voice. Those in whom the eternal word speaks are delivered from uncertainty. From one word proceed all things and all things tell of him. You have to love the word better than the world. That's the imitation of Christ. Who are you imitating? Your parents? Maybe your roommate from many seeming years ago? Maybe that main character in that show you've been watching? Notice this. It's not judgment because we don't know who we are. We try on different personalities, different costumes, and none of them feel like home, nowhere on this earth have you ever been that felt truly like home or you wouldn't be here listening to me. You've always felt like you're on the outside, looking in at life happening, sometimes participating in it, but mostly observing, mostly questioning why. Or maybe I'm just describing my experience here. I don't think so, though. Write me if you get time and let me know if this has been your experience, too. But in the seeming meantime, I want you to feel the shift that has happened in these moments that we've been together, this peace that has happened. A lot appears to be happening, but only peace is happening, only God is happening, and you're feeling it now the same way you can feel that breath happening. What's aware of that breath happening? Is it breathing? Is it going in and out, or is it just still? Noticing the in and out, the rising and the falling. 
the thinking and the not thinking, the noises and the silence, this voice reminding you of who you are. You're not a person. You are love. You are light appearing as the victorious one. Set that body up straighter. As the unbroken one, the unharmed one, fear can't touch you. Relax those shoulders down and back and lift your chin slightly, smiling. You are the chosen, the loved, the healed, the healer. You have come for one reason and one reason only. And you're ready now. It has started. Say, I am ready. With filling, feel the difference between I'm ready and I'm ready. Say it. Not just lip deep, but heart deep. That's Mahatma Das, not just with the lips, but with your heart. Don't shoot blanks when you pray, when you chant. Put some substance behind it. Put some love behind it, in it. I'm ready. Every prayer, every chant should feel like that. I'm ready. It should feel the same as your thank you, thank you, thank you. It should feel the same as your yes. You pray with feeling, not with words. That feeling, I'm ready. That's the green light. I can see your green light. I can see that we're on. And now say, I'm here. I am here. Tell yourself that. That's God telling that body, I am here. God telling you, you telling yourself, I am here. And I love you. And we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift and follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.